Larry Andrews, old school's got his own style, that's come forward on fire. I think Harry Andrews, I think same different than If Harry Andrews can teach him to box with that sort of style, with a, with a good pace, I think it could be a deadly combination. Old school again, just quickly into his work at the start of the 10th round as he was at the start of the first. Signed in that previous round that he was tiring, certainly. But he's going for it in this final round. Fourteen and over four tonight. Sir Osgood five and two. Mikey Saki. But there are times, plenty of them, where your stock can rise even in defeat, and I think that that could well be the case here tonight for Saki. Stepped up a level and has shown that he can definitely compete at this level. certainly done a credit to yourself tonight. Firstly, before before uh, the fight uh, started, I didn't think make it Mikey Saki would go to 10 rounds, but he took the fight at short notice. He's had a couple of hard fights earlier on in his career, but he's, he's done better than what I thought he would. He's still just trying to fire off punches off the ropes. Osgood just has a good look at this. Down here on commentary, midway through, the tenth and oh, final round and he's been nailed there Oskol and he's in big trouble I think it was a left hand that landed and now Saki has to pull this on this is his chance he can get this done here he can get it finished Jeff Hines just about to jump in any second there he looked like he was going to stop it one more clean blow and Jeff Hines will stop this what drama here in the tenth and final Thank round you, really and Saki just me. needs to get a bit of distance a bit of the chance to swing oh, and in comes Jeff Hines and waves his fight over Mikey Saki has turned it around in the 10th and final round. Unbelievable drama at York Hall. Over on the far side of the ring, it was a left hand, I think, which started it all off. We didn't get a great view of it, but you could see that Oscar immediately was hurt. And at that point, at that point, there was a long way left to go in the round. And Saki just had to exploit that but he couldn't be too reckless could he yes. Matt that was the key he had to be accurate and he had to go about his work in calculated yet vicious fashion and that's exactly what he did there was a left hook that started it and then he applied the finish and Jeff Hines gave Sia Roscoe every single yes, chance definitely. there but he needed a stoppage and he got credit. it absolute credit to Mikey Sackley we've got our scorecard here I haven't given Mikey Sackley one round in this contest and to pull that out in the last round Obviously, Sol Paul's put a little bit too much in his rounds. He's, he's come out blazing every round. Just needed to save a little bit for that last round, I think. And obviously, fair play to Mikey Saki. He's gone on to that, and he's now stopped Sol Oxley. Well, that was absolutely extraordinary. And it's, it's the kind of finish that you get sometimes in boxing. And it never fails to take your breath away because Sir Osgood was in charge of that fight. He was winning that fight. I don't know how Jeff Hines' referee was scoring it, but he was winning that fight. And then that left hand that he landed, and he had landed quality shots throughout the fight. He showed his ability. We've been saying that all the way through, but he yep. just being out hustled by Osgood. And as soon as he landed that left, the way he finished it was impressive, Matt, too, because it would have been easy to panic to rush it to, to smother your own work to do all sorts of things but he landed enough clean shots and in the end he gave Jeff Hines no no option but to jump no. in and stop it he gave him enough time to jump in personally this is inexperience from Sol's goal he should have took the knee if he would have took the knee he would have had 10 seconds to recover great left hook there he could have recovered in that 10 seconds a 10-9 10-8 round 10, even a 10-7 round he could have still won that fight, but obviously that's an experience. A better coming time, but fair play to Mike in the second. And he's just clipping him regularly. A couple of times I thought Jeff Hines was just about to jump in and stop it just there. Yeah. And then eventually he did come in and Mikey Saki, the celebrations are there from the corner as well. It's I can feel his heartbeat for me. I know what he's feeling. I've been there myself and he must be over the moon.